Hi guys, welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to go over a quick kind of tip uh, for finding unconnected uh, tracks. This is called Rat's Nest in PCB parlance. I'm not sure why. I guess because when you have them unconnected, you know, there's a lot of white lines again kind of criss crisscross. I guess it looks like a rat's nest. But today we're going to be talking about the end of the process. Like when you are at the very end of the design, you have just a couple left, and you're like, where the heck are these things? There's actually a feature in KiCad 5.0. I'm not even sure if it happened in KiCad 4.0, but it's really helpful for finding these kind of things. So first things first, let's look at how I used to do this whenever I had this problem. Well, so first things I would do is basically you see this line right here. This is the rat's nest, this light, this light colored white line. We can actually turn this on and off in the layer manager here. You see it is labeled as rat's nest. This is something that basically shows up. If you don't actually see it, sometimes this, this is turned on and off by the board rat's nest. You can turn it off so, so you can, especially at the beginning of the design, sometimes you have so many, so many unconnected nets here that it's just really hard to look at. And so that, you know, you can turn that on and off here. This should also be uh, available. You can turn this on and off. When you select the part, you should be able to see which, which uh, rat's nests are available if you do turn this off. That's actually not what we're talking about today, though. We want to just see which ones are unconnected, right? And so if we zoom out, sometimes I did that as well, like especially in the older versions of KiCad. I think I might have shown that. Sometimes I would basically, you know, look like this. Well, the first things I would do is I would go and actually connect this one, right? This is connected here. Uh, so let's go to layer four. This is going from the back side four layer. This is at a via. Actually, we want to connect on the front side there. And then we just connect that. We went from two to one. If I undo it, you see unrouted down here. This is how you can tell what is routed and unrouted. That means we have two things we still need to connect here. All right, so now we look at the rest of the board. And it's really hard to see. Now, the old way I would do this is I, I would actually go in and I would turn off all of the different layers that I've created here. I would go turn off the front side footprints. And even still, it's pretty darn hard to see where this one is. Now, I, I will say I, I specifically created one that, that was this hard to see. But w where is it, right? You don't see any lines here. And let's say, let's turn off the front side silk screen, the back side silk screen. OK, and now we're down to, I have a, a white dog. And the dog hairs are actually, you know, smaller on this screen. You know, any like errant dog hair looks more like a rat's nest than anything else here. So it looks like nothing is connected, and yet unrouted shows here, right? And so in the old days, it would have to like kind of scan back and forth, back and forth. I don't really don't see anything here. So let's turn everything back on. Uh, let's do that. That 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 that. These on. Okay. Footprints front and back. Okay, so now we're back to the, the way we were looking at before. The easy way to do this, and this is what I was really hoping to show you here today, is you actually do DRC. And this is something that is really important to think about too, because most people know that you should do DRC at the end of your design. You should start DRC and say, uh, where is their errors? <laughs> you see, I, I did some previous videos about courtyards, and I didn't obviously turn on the uh, missing courtyards and certain footprints. So I'm going to turn that that option off here. Start this again. You see there's there's no errors here. However, what we do see is there's an unconnected count. We kind of know that, but this is a really important thing. I'm hoping that this kind of dialogue changes in the near future in uh, because basically you shouldn't be allowed to keep going uh, <laughs> with this unconnected. So let's go and say, we can actually click on this tab here for unconnected. And what we do is then I go, the way I do this, I zoom in. And then when I select the actual unconnected thing, it will take me to that. Now, you see there's actually dimensions here as well. So it shows on the front side, pad four of front copper, non-copper union of U201. So we know it's on part U201, and we know it's part C201. It's really easy if you start reading that kind of thing. And now we see it's here. What, where, where is it? Oh, if we zoom way in, yep, there it is. There's that little stinker. And what this is because is if we go to uh, layer four here, we see the, the pad for the two pads that are supposed to be connected are right on top of each other. And so if we move the entire, uh, if we move the entire part here, we can see that the rat's nest does actually extend. In this case, what I need to do is I need to just connect this to the uh, the three three volt via that's there. And now we see we have unrouted uh, zero. So that can be kind of a tricky thing uh, finding those final little rat's nests, especially if you do, are doing two two sided component or boards with components on both sides. Rather, if you're doing that, then you will have these kind of small rat's nest lines, and it can be really, really uh, confusing and frustrating if you're doing this kind of thing. So I recommend using the DRC method. I think that's a lot easier, and hopefully you think so too. If you want to learn more about how to build circuit boards and uh, do DRC, and make sure you send out a board that's healthy and ready to go and, and errorless, 
we do that kind of stuff in Contextual Electronics all the time. You can go and check out contextualelectronics.com. If you have questions about how rats nests work, you can go over to the KiCad forum. That's forum.kiCad.info, and we can talk about it more there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.